Uh, we had uh, we had a decent practice today. I thought our defensive backs, linebackers, all the secondary players uh, looked looked good during our pass uh, perimeter drills today. Uh, they got several interceptions. Uh, really, were breaking on the ball. Uh, best looking quarterback today was Brendan Nasevich. Uh, he threw some good ones in there. Our other two guys were, were pretty average today. Uh, but anyway, it was uh, it was pretty good practice. One guy who busted his tail and ran full speed all day in practice today was Bruce Ellington. Bruce had his uh, statistically his best game ever here last week. Eight catches, 100 and something yards, touchdown. And uh, he's out here trying to get better every day. So I wish we had 100% trying to get better every day. But <laughs> those that are, uh, we'll recognize them and hope we can make it contagious that the rest of the guys uh, bust their tail and try to get better every day out here. But uh, some guys did well, some were very average today. Uh, Steve, okay. when you look at the offense, hmm. um, the numbers are pretty good. Are, are you yeah. encouraged? I mean, from I'm where you are with the offense? I'm encouraged to watch some of our practices out here. And uh, uh, some of our our two starters, uh, they were av they had a tough day today, but maybe they just had a tough day. I don't know, but he's been very good. Our receivers, uh, I thought, ran pretty good routes today and so forth. But uh, we we can we can do a lot better. We can do a lot better. We don't have a lot of possessions. Seems like the the games move. Uh, well, I can't say they move fast because when the referee gets hurt, that stops it for 30 minutes. And seems like, uh, but we've only had uh, I think about 10 possessions every game. Nine, 10 possessions every game uh, is about what we average. And uh, we scored touchdowns on about half of them, and uh, a couple of field goals or whatever. Had some punts and just a few turnovers, not many. But still, uh, we, we can do a lot better. We, sh we should play better offensively, certainly. When you look at what you got in place, could this potentially be the best oh, offense I hate to say had? that. I hate to say that. Some of these yeah. guys can't take praise. You don't want to praise them too much. So they'll think they got it made. Really, you, you can't. You got to be careful about that. So let's just say uh, we've got some potential because we do have a big, strong offensive line. And uh, young Stadnick came in there and has held his own. He's, he's played well. And all the other guys have played a bunch. Uh, you look at our offensive line, we got probably as experienced as any in the conference. So we should we should sort of dominate the line of scrimmage at times. Mike Davis had a big game catching the ball last week. You plan on using him more in the passing attack against UCF? Oh, I can't answer that question. We can't give out all of our secrets, do we? Uh, if it presents itself, we'll throw it to the swing man. If they cover him, hopefully we can throw it downfield. What you've seen yep. from what you've seen mm. from Connor in the game, six touchdowns, mm -hmm. four interceptions this season. She's throwing the ball. He's throwing pretty well. Better. Yeah, he's throwing pretty well. He can do a little bit better at times, but he's played very well. He throws, he throws a beautiful pass. I've said that many times. And uh, there's a few plays he can do better, but uh, he, he executed a lot of plays very, very well uh, this year thus far. When Cody yeah. Walter gets healthy, is it a competition there at center? Or well, we'll see like when that? he gets healthy. We don't have to make that decision until he's 100% healthy. So. I mean, he's been gimping around since the first game, so uh, I don't expect him to be healthy until I see him healthy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Is the yeah. offense it, it, from this year to previous years, is it a little bit different this year? No, I mean, no not different. Not too much um, different. Oh, we got a few new plays yeah. in there. Shots downfield, yeah. maybe uh, maybe taking a few yeah. more shots downfield? No, I or should no? be taking more. If I, get, huh. if I get him to throw it, we, we're calling more, but a lot of times he doesn't throw it. He, he, he doesn't think the guy's open, and sometimes it's not. Uh, uh, but uh, at times, I wish he would chuck a few more deep ones down there when, when there's an opportunity. But uh, again, uh, we'll wait and see how we play out. What That's about it. the UCF yeah. uh, defense? I know they posted at least one shutout already this year. They look like they've seen them. Oh, they got, like a, good yeah, yeah. they got yeah. a good team. Yeah, they got a good team overall. Yeah, yeah. they got a, they got a good solid team, and uh, they're three and zero. Oh, yeah, and they got a lot of momentum. They got us coming in there at high noon and uh, they'll be ready and we should be ready we should be ready to really play well it's gonna be a tough tough difficult game i don't know who's favorite are we favored or are they favored i think they come out this weekend i don't know okay. i'm just curious okay a lot of the florida kids getting excited about going home and we don't have that many we don't have that many right now seems like uh ace and garcia and those guys we don't we don't have many florida kids uh, got a few uh, I don't have anybody from Orlando. Well, yeah. Deion Green's from there, but yeah. he's hurt. He's, I don't even know if he'll be on the trip. Yeah. Uh, who else we got? Cody's from yep. Tampa yep. area. Uh, but, uh, yeah, well, uh, Ronald Patrick. Jamari, Ronald Jamari, Patrick's Jamari one of our from, captains. Jamari's Coco Jacksonville, Beach. Right? Who? Jamari Smith from Jacksonville. Right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Happy to meet you.
Ronald Patrick's one of the captains yes. from uh, Cocoa Beach, Florida.